When the red tide arrived with its bioluminescence, it really was a sight to behold at night. But now that red tide is going into its third week and it's killing fish in North County lagoons. The red tide is taking its toll along beaches where sea life is washing up on shore. Sean Style shows us where this is happening and tells us why this bloom is so big in this Earth 8 report. The red tide that causes the bioluminescence turned deadly last week up in the lagoons of the North County, wiping out the fish population. And now, here in the ocean, it's starting to kill fish. And I personally can't remember it sticking around this long. This has been one of the probably top one or two I've seen in my lifetime. The bloom was caused by a combination of many things, but the biggest contributor were the heavy rains we saw in April. The runoff brought large amounts of nutrients into the water, which triggered the algae. It's an occurrence that just took place because of the heavy rains and you know, lack of swell and a very warm spell really triggered this uh, plankton bloom. Because everything has aligned, the algae bloom has gone unchecked, consuming all the dissolved oxygen in the water and making it an anaerobic environment. So what we're seeing right now is, is, is this is so rich and concentrated, especially in the lagoon areas and up and down the beaches here, that uh, it's really uh, affecting the uh, sea life down here on our beaches. And now the bloom that brought the bioluminescence is killing the creatures in the sea. We're seeing uh, eels, fish, um, crabs and, and shellfish actually coming up on the beach, deceased, um, and you know they're being affected by this red tide. If you're thinking about eating any of the sea life, Captain Giles says, think again. Definitely not the time to take anything out of the ocean to uh, harvest any fish or any shell life. Uh, that's, that's a consistent throughout my entire life uh, is, is, is a no-go. You don't want to get sick. With the south swell running and temperatures cooling off slightly, it looks like the ocean is rolling over and that's allowing more oxygen to help the sea life.